Inmates in Washington State don't have to work, but they're offered positions like assembling furniture for state offices, cooking in the prison kitchens, cleaning as custodians, even translating textbooks into Braille. They are paid, but unlike the outside world, most don't make anywhere near minimum wage. When I was incarcerated, I was paid 42 cents an hour. Theft and drug charges resulted in Tara Simmons getting a 30-month sentence in 2011. She remembers her sons visiting in between her jobs in the laundry room and as a custodian. When Simmons got out, she got her law degree and fought at the state Supreme Court to be able to take the bar exam. Today, she's a state legislator and has proposed paying inmates minimum wage. The 13th Amendment to the United States Constitution um, prohibited slavery except for, um, for people convicted of a crime. And so this is an evolution of um, slavery and um, it's our way that we are able to do that now legally and I think it needs to be eliminated. Line's moving. Line moving. Nine north, two west. <laughs> Currently, inmates who were trained to fight wildfires do get paid whatever the minimum wage is in the county where they're working, but they are the exception. According to the Department of Corrections, about 1,600 offenders have jobs, paying between 65 cents an hour up to $2.70 an hour, which is higher than most states. Under Simmons's bill, half the money made would go towards savings accounts that inmates would not be able to access until they are released. She says that would be empowering. So if people can leave with enough money to have transportation, housing, clothing, food, and potentially some job training, uh, you know, hopefully they will have a better chance at not coming back. How much this would cost the state and where that money would come from is something Representative Simmons says legislators will work on once they reconvene back in Olympia in January. I spoke with Republican Senator Phil Fortunato. He says this idea doesn't make any sense to him. He says the offenders the state is already taken care of are enough of a burden on taxpayers. In Tumwater, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.